a lot of companies haven't updated the old legacy systems because the systems they have are working just fine. And many of those legacy systems are run by legacy employees who like the way they work. They know how they work, it's comfortable, and it's easy for them. The potential benefits of updating legacy systems center more around the efficiency of that system in that process. One of the main features of some of the more modern systems that we manufacture is the ability of that system to be monitored remotely, for example. You don't have to have people standing right next to it watching what's going on. Our systems are remotely located in many cases, and people aren't always able to be right there. It's very expensive to get them out there. So current monitoring can be done remotely on our systems. A company that can provide a, an optimized system should be able to produce references. They should be able to have, have case studies on solutions that they provided people that demonstrated their ability to completely understand the need of the customer and what they needed it to uh, output. In the form of a value, the customer should understand what the system will make for them and clearly when they will receive their investment back in the form of a return on investment calculation. The long-term benefit of a optimized system will come in the form of a system that performs well over time and will continue to year in, year out produce just like the old legacy systems did. The parts and pieces are more readily available now than they used to be and the, the integrated equipment that helps to automate that system is off the shelf product. So it will provide a long-term solution that will help customers produce for a long period of time.